Hello class, today we will be practicing our watercolor techniques. I would like you to watch each step of this video and then pause after each step to try it out yourself. First, let's start with our wet on dry technique. This is when we place wet watercolor on our dry paper. Our next watercolor method is called wet on wet. So here I am just placing some water on my paper to wet the paper and then you go in with your watercolor right on top of that wet spot. You can use plain water or you can use some watercolor as your base layer for the wet on wet technique. I'm going to show you both ways. Here I'm using a base layer of some watercolor and then I'm going over it with a new color. So both of these are the wet on wet technique. Next up, we have gradient. This can be challenging, so I'm going to explain a couple ways I like to do it. So first, you can start by adding some water to one half of your paper, and then adding a really concentrated version of your color on the paintbrush. So that means you're really swirling it in the paint, and you're not doing too, too much water. That makes the color a lot deeper and rich. Then I'm slowly dragging it to my water side. And this makes a nice gradient. If your watercolor isn't moving around the paper too much, you can try holding your paper at an angle and then adding some water to the dark concentrated area of color and dragging it down. This is helpful because gravity kind of pulls the watercolor paint down and creates some of the gradient for you. Our next watercolor method is called bleed. So usually this method happens on accident but sometimes you might find it useful to use in your painting. So bleed is when two colors are placed next to each other when they are both wet and you guessed it, they start to bleed into each other. So here I am just making my colors move around together and bleed. Up next, we have dry brush. So you're gonna wanna grab that paper towel, really dry out your brush. Before you do this, make sure you have a watercolor pan that has a little bit of water in it. And then you're just gonna dip your dry brush into that watercolor pan and apply the watercolor with that dry brush right on top of your dry paper. Here I am, I just rinsed my brush and I'm drying it off again. And I'm going in another pan that had some water in it, picking up that paint and practicing some different strokes with the dry brush. So our last technique is going to be our thirsty brush. So this technique is helpful, especially if you have puddles on your paper, 
but it's also really fun to do just on top of specific areas in your painting. So for this technique, I'm cleaning my brush in the water and drying it out on my paper towel. Then I go in right over all those colors I have on my paper and drag my brush along it. This is going to lift up the color and remove it in those areas. So I put some fresh blue down on my paper, that way you can see how much it lifts it up when the paint is nice and wet and fresh. The longer you let your paint sit and dry, the least effective this method is going to be. Alright everyone, spend today practicing and if you feel like you've mastered all of these techniques, try to make a painting of your choice using some of these methods with your watercolor.